here at the Dittrich, we have probably the largest collection of 19th century surgical instruments. And I'm standing in front of one of the most important collections of Gustav Weber. He was a surgeon who was educated in Germany and then in 1848 came to America. By 1856, he was in Cleveland. And by the opening years of the Civil War, he became the Surgeon General of the Ohio forces. And we've got here his official army issue case, some of the instruments. And beyond that period, he became active in medical education, training surgeons in the next generation of Clevelanders. And he was the most prominent individual in this field up until his retirement in 1892. In this portion of the Weber display, we have the most expensive instrument of the 19th century, a chainsaw invented by Heine in Germany about 1829. It would have cost as much as all the rest of the instruments in this case here. We have minor surgery, cranial surgery, this is to do trephination or trepanning. And then down below, we have instruments for autopsy and dissection. One of the more remarkable instruments in this Weber case is a instrument for transfusion from Germany, Leiter's transfusion apparatus. In the 19th century, that would have been a very dangerous procedure because there was no such thing as blood typing. That did not come in until about 1910. So it was pretty much a uh, Russian roulette. So you could get incompatible blood from another person. But Weber had one and perhaps he used it. Uh, the thing that's most amazing to us is the array of instruments. We have instruments for orthopedic surgery. We have instruments for urologic surgery, ophthalmology, ear and nose. You think that these were all specialties and separate and distinct, but in his time, he tried everything and he acquired instruments for each kind of surgery.